That's crazy. I mean, the fire is just like a 2D fire effect, so it does not look cool when it's in still form, but... Yeah, this looks good. Good, good, good. brightness on that a bit. I wish this had a spotlight. I feel like this game could really use it. I feel like all um, horror games could probably use a spotlight. Uh, the pastel oddly works during like the brighter segments. It definitely poor cow, but you know, it, it had to be done. Actually, yeah, I was like one away. I could have just gone backwards. I wish you could make um I wish you could make the logo bigger. Cause this is definitely one of those things where it's like I mean I could probably just edit this picture, but like if I could put like Resident before it's like a really big logo next to him, I prefer that. But also it doesn't have to be so zoomed in just to even get that. There we go, our, our official first use of <laughs> turning off the fauna. The flaming cow. Neither of these are bad. Like that, and even if I do it where it's not in focus and it's just him. Like both of those, I think, look pretty cool. Okay. Well, that's where you can literally like see it. It looks like it shifts to the left a little bit when it actually comes into focus. See that guy. I like that you can just hear like the Kindle burning. Yeah, like that shot. That's a good shot. Right there. 
that's very close to what I had before, but it's like just his face being like almost completely covered up halfway by him by his hands. And then boom, you just put a big Resident Evil 4 logo right there. Like it doesn't work as well when it's like just the big thing. I feel like if you're doing a full poster, although the, the tower looks amazing um, in the background, like it actually feels like it has more of a sense of scale. Um, I guess that's just because you can look at it from a very specific angle, like with photo mode, it's different. Oh yeah, that is good. Alright, let's try to survive. <laughs> 